okay i will unshare so this is the aws mock interview day one and thank you so much uh, for participating okay just uh, introduce yourself and don't reveal your original name and all and just just whatever you have experience you can tell and don't reveal your personal details okay okay and totally i have a uh, three plus years of experience in aws devops engineer okay and uh, currently i'm working in uh, cicd project and uh, using by pipelines in jenkin okay. so yeah as you said you have three plus years experience okay it's okay and uh, today we will discuss about aws okay this is totally related to aws i will share my screen so that you can able to see the questions okay so whoever okay. watching this video in the youtube please like this video so that i will get a motivation to upload the next mock interview okay and what is a security group and network acl and how they differ nothing but difference between security group and nacl this is the question this is a simple question in every interview right you attend in aws devops interview these questions will be repeated damn sure without this question there will be no interview okay if it is related to aws right definitely they will ask this question so do you know the difference between this uh, security group and uh, nacl if you know try to tell me if not you can just tell me the pass so i will go to next question no pass. worries this is the first mock interview right it's okay what you will learn okay so how do you resize an ec2 instance and what should you consider before doing so nothing but i want to change the ec2 instance type that's the resize how do you resize an ec2 instance what should you consider before doing so okay what are the things you will follow to resize the ec2 instance this is the question do you know about this yeah i know a little bit about this and uh, we have security informations edit that security information no i we can change easy to instance type now it is in t2 micro four suppose if i want to increase to t2 medium how you will do that pass okay you don't know about this let's continue to okay what are amazon ec2 spot instances how they do differ for like on demand instances nothing but difference between this on demand ec2 instances and this spot instances what is the difference between them so what are the questions i'm asking you right this is the very basic questions I have total 50 plus interview questions on only ec2 itself so i will starting from basic so whoever watching this video right if you want that 50 questions definitely you need to like this video then only we will continue the series okay yes uh, try the difference between the spot instances and on demand instances do you know no or do you want me to pass pass okay no issues there are remaining two questions are there at least you try to answer that if not this interview total interview will be failed okay how can you ensure high availability and fault tolerance for an application hosted on ec2 instance nothing but whatever the application running on my server nothing but an ec2 instance it should be a high available and a fault tolerant nothing but even though if something happens to my ec2 server if it is deleted okay my application sh should not stop okay and it should work and it should replace with some other new ec2 instance 
this is a very important question even though in every interview right obviously they will ask how you will meet in your company how you are maintaining this high availability like how you are maintaining the fault tolerance how you are protecting this easy to instance obviously they will ask right yes yeah do you know if you want to try try it if not just let me know just pass okay i will not repeat pass. again for every question if you don't know pass this is the final question i am i am just expecting at least uh, answer for this if not you failed on every question so what is an amazon ec2 instance and what are the different types of instances available this is a simple question do you know answer types of instances yeah we have no one types of instances it's uh, red hacks it's a flavor of operating system i am asking the types of instances it's a type of images ami images you are talking about i am not talking about ami images i am talking about the types of instances yeah it's a types of instances is uh, the 2023 2022 it's an ami i am talking about instance not a amazon machine mm -hmm. image ec2 instance mm -hmm. types pass okay shall we check the answers for every question you are you have failed in this interview okay, okay you need to prepare well in the upcoming interview okay in the next interview also same i will ask a questions on ec2 itself prepare well go through some tutorials so like whatever it may be okay we already discussed this okay shall we check the answers for this can you able to see you can able to see my screen right is there any background voice from my side no no it's it's clear okay okay no issues okay you need to fail first to get success you failed this so yeah. failure is the stepping stone for the success and you should not demotivate for this okay you are going to check the answers right your real interview will not be spoiled i have asked you what is this what are security group and network acl how do they differ okay security group act as virtual firewall for ec2 instances controlling inbound and outbound traffic at the instance level so did you visited any apartments yes or no yeah so will there a security guard yes available security guard yes will he allow you go inside to to uh, apartment no right he will ask no. what is your block for, for like for whom you are you are coming here yes yes so for ec2 instance also there is a security group is a security guard so it will control the inbound and outbound traffic at the instance level so who can able to log in into this ec2 instance okay who can come out of this ec2 instance okay you got it right that's what security group yes. right and return traffic is automatically allowed regardless of rules even though if you apply rules or doesn't apply return traffic is automatically allowed and a security group is a stateful another one I have, I have told you network acl so it is also act as a firewall itself and it is at subnet level inside the subnet you will be having ec2 yes or no you will create yes. a, right this is the subnet level so nothing but if you deny at subnet level automatically it will be denied for ec2 instance as well yes or no yes i have a block okay if i if i doesn't allow in the main from main block nothing but for to my block obviously you cannot able to attend inside my rooms as well okay from main from main door i'm just stopping you to enter from the main room itself so obviously it will not be allowed right allowed right yes okay okay so subnet level you are getting uh, you are getting i'm getting my own voice i'm getting my own voice 
ओके यू गॉट इट राइट सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप विल बी एट द इंस्टेंस लेवल एन ए सी एल विल बी एट द सबनेट लेवल दैट इज द डिफरेंस दट वॉट आई एव एक्सपेक्टेड यू राइट सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप ऑपरेट एट द इंस्टेंस लेवल राइट एंड एन एस सी एल ऑपरेट एट द सबनेट लेवल सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप आर स्टेटफुल एन एस सी एल आर स्टेटलेस यू गॉट इट राइट इन द नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू इफ दे आस्क वाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप एंड एन एस सी एल कैन यू एबल टू टेल राइट ओके हाउ यू विल रिसाइज सो फर्स्ट यू टू स्टॉप द इंस्टेंस हाउ यू विल स्टॉप गो टू इसी टू कंसोल सेलेक्ट द इंस्टेंस एंड क्लिक ऑन एक्शन इंस्टेंस स्टेट स्टॉप देन आफ्टर चेंज इंस्टेंस टाइप दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दिस इज द वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन everyone will know about it but i don't know why you cannot able to answer this okay you need to click on actions instance setting change instance type right then you can change the instance type right yeah so what you need to consider before that obviously if you stop the instance there is a downtime or not okay you will be having a downtime resizing request stopping the instance causing downtime so data on instance stored volume is lost when stopping an instance and should data is backed up okay when if you stop so what are the data inside that volume it might be removed so it is recommending us to take a backup of for before stopping so and the cost also if you increase the instance type cost will also increase yes or no yes so then after i was could you what are the third question right what are the ac to spot instances and uh, on demand instances okay spot is nothing but a bidding so hello you to bid a, to Uh, on spare ec2 computing capacity at a potential lower cost nothing but uh, if you register a spot instance so it will just give you an instance with lower cost okay if someone comes again and if you ask you with the that particular amount and ne can uh, whatever you are cha- you got right for that like for suppose normally ec2 instance cost will be 4 rupees per hour okay yeah but in spot instances you might get ec2 instance for 1 rupee as well that is a bidding okay for 1 rupee you have taken a ec2 instance and you are using that ec2 instance someone comes to you come like someone come and they will tell hey i will give 2 rupees give me that instance then amazon what they will do they will remove from you they will take back ec2 instance and they will give to the other person who are demanding 2 rupees getting my point yeah that is what spot instances there is no guarantee okay hello you to bid or spare ec2 instance computing at a potential lower cost you got with this question uh, this point yes or no i already explained you with lower cost you will get yes you you got it yes. this point yes mm. Yes. And can be interrupted by AWS with two minutes notice if AWS needs to capacity back. Nothing but if if AWS want to take back the ECS instance, he will take back by interrupting AWS of two minutes. Okay, you will get a two minutes timer. After two minutes, your ECS instance will be lost. Okay. Mm-hmm. On demand, pay for compute capacity by hour or second with no long term commitment. Okay, hourly charges. you are your server will be on your hand itself okay here it, there is no bidding on demand nothing but whatever you are demanding for 1 hour it will cost you 4 rupees if you use 1 hour and 1 second then only you, then also you will get a 8 rupees a bill okay you cannot tell that no right i just use 1 hour 1 minute give me the bill of 1 hour 1 minute no it will cost you for 1 hour even though if you used more than 1 hour 1 minute you will cost for 2 hours you got my point yes so best suited for application and notable workloads so if you don't want any interruptions then you can use this on demand instances then after i have told you i'll ask you how you will maintain a high availability and fault tolerance for an application okay you need to use multiple availability zones yes or no distribute multi- yes. like distribute ec2 instances across multiple availability zone within a region auto scaling set up auto scaling group to automatically adjust number of instances based on demand okay whenever there is a huge traffic automatically if you use auto scaling instances will be increased if there is no traffic instances will be removed okay load balancing okay use an elastic load balancer to distribute incoming traffic across multiple instances so yeah, there are 10 ec2 instances okay F- for which ec2 instance i need to the traffic should go so you need to use load balance okay 
Yes. If there is no traffic, I need to decrease the EC2 instance. How how we can do that? We can do, use auto scaling. And how they will get to know this is the healthy server. I need to send the traffic to this server. So for that reason, we will uh, maintain a health checks. Okay, which EC2 server responds first? It is the best EC2 instance, and they will send the traffic. And you need to okay. use a EBS snapshots and uh, RDS backups to protect data. Nothing but it will be better you need to take the backup simultaneously so that uh, you will be having a backup now you got it right high availability how you will maintain yes. the high availability you need to maintain multiple availability zones okay and you need to maintain the auto scaling and load balancer and the last question what is an amazon ec2 instance and what are the different types of instances available so Amazon EC2 instances are virtual servers in Amazon clouds. They provide scalable computing capacity, allowing users to run applications on virtual server and they would on physical hardware. So in the back end, it, your application will run on the hardware itself, but for us, it will pro they will provide as a virtual. So these are the types, general purpose, computer optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized, accelerating computing. These are the types of EC2 instances. I have asked you, and I'm expecting you, uh, expecting this from you, but uh, you are telling uh, 2023-2024 you want to Amazon Linux, not not that is, EC2 instances will be this one. Okay. General purpose, computer optimized, even if you don't, if you have a doubt, right, I will just search AWS instance types. Okay, I will go to the official documentation. right compute optimized yeah. right memory optimized storage optimized yes or no compute memory storage hpc optimized these are the new one which is added but mostly this accelerated computing these are the new ones which one uh, which one added but main thing you need to know general okay which is T2 micro, T3 micro, M4 large, these are the general, comes into general. Right? Okay. If you see, T3, M5, compute optimized, nothing but it will start with C number, okay, C5, C6, C, C, okay, compute, C. What is memory? Memory is nothing but RAM, R5, okay? You cannot, uh, you should not worry about it. Compute nothing but C, general nothing but T, memory nothing but RAM, R storage nothing but s right d d data yes d2 okay if every if they if anyone ask you what are the ec2 instance type yeah there are general type right compute optimized memory optimized storage optimized so general is nothing but we will be having t2 micro t3 micro okay and m4 large these are the general purpose okay and what is compute optimized c starting with c c5 okay memory optimized ram r5 right storage optimized data d type d2 okay and one more is accelerated computing use hardware accelerators processor floating point nothing but uh, for graphics okay for calculations okay for that purpose you will use accelerated computing it is p3g4 okay this is what okay. about the mock interview okay i hope you at least uh, you got some questions right yes okay so in the next interview whenever they ask these questions you will answer right at least you can try yeah. okay that's it sure. for today i will stop the